Albion Online is a waste of time, but what about some of the stuff you can do in the game? Should you be doing it? Is it a waste of time to do it? Today we're talking about crop farming. Now, to farm crops, you have to have premium, because if you don't have premium active, you only get the normal amount of gathering yield. But with premium, you get a 50% gathering yield. And also, you can't even buy a personal island to grow crops on until you buy premium. So, premium is 20.5 million silver. We'll just round that up by 1,000 silver, whatever, it's fine. 20.5 million silver. And let's say you've grown crops for multiple months because you played the hell out of this game. You've spent your life on this game. And now you've got some crops maxed out at level 100, meaning that you have a focus cost reduction when you water the crops. So when you plant the crops, if you water the crops, they will have a bonus chance to give you a bonus seed. So if we go here to crenellated burdock, this is a tier 4 herb. You can see that uh, normally we get a seed yield. That means whenever you pick up the crop out of the dirt after it's grown, you have a 73.33% chance to get a seed back. Meaning you don't have to buy another seed. You just get a seed to replant. If you water it, you get a bonus of 53% seed yield on top of the 73%. Which means it's like 126, 126.33% chance. What that means is you now have a chance to get two seeds. You will always receive one seed back. Well, you get 10,000 focus per day when you have premium active. And when you have maximum level watering crop powers, because you've played for months and months on end only growing crops, your focus cost is 125 per crop, meaning that you can water 80 squares of crops every single day and you will always get a seed back. It's basically free money because once you buy the seeds, you'll always get them back. But is it actually free money? Is it a waste of time to do this? And the answer is yes. Let's talk about it. 10,000 focus a day, 125 focus to water a crop. You get 80 free crops when watered per day. Your average crop yield with premium active is nine crops. You also get your seed back. Your yield for a bonus seed is priced the same at all tiers. This means at tier, you know, four tier, seven tier, eight, it doesn't matter the price. The averages will always be the same for your profits. Now, we're going to use tier four as an example. Tier four burdock, 26.33% chance to get an extra seed. Or you get 21 seeds per day out of 80. Seeds are worth 7,000. The crops are worth 450. So you take 9, that is the average crop yield, times 80, that is the number of squares you can water per day. That's 720. And then you take 720 and you multiply it by 450, that's how much the crop is worth. This means every day you generate 324,000 silver in crops. Now, you take the 7,000 silver, that's the price of the seed, you multiply it by 21, that's the average seeds you'll get back in bonus every day. That's 147,000 silver in sold seeds. So, at the end of the day, you get 471,000 silver is the total profit. But let's round the number up to 500k to make the math easier. So, you, you, let's say you make 500k a day, and for 30 days, that's the cost of premium. You make 15 million silver. Well, the cost of premium is 20.5 million silver, meaning you lose 5.5 million silver if you want to grow crops. And you may be thinking, well, what else should I do? Should I refine? No. Sh should I craft? No. It's all a waste of time. You know, th here's the thing, right? If you are just growing crops, you know, you want to play like a little happy game where you grow crops, this is not the game. Albion Online has not been the game for the comfy, cozy gamer. Albion Online is not the game if you want to, you know, build a nice fancy house with some cool furniture and grow your crops and sell them on the market and interact with people in such a way. This game is not that. It used to be, years ago, cost of premium used to be 3 million silver. Then it went to 6 million, then to 8 million, then to 9 million, then to 12, then to 15. Now it's up to 20. Well, now it's at 20. <laughs> it went down a little bit since we last checked. But... The point is, is that the cost of premium is too damn high, and if you want to be a cozy gamer, you're better off playing something else than Albion Online. A lot of people have been quitting this game recently, like a massive amount of people have been quitting, walking to other games, just giving it up entirely. 
And so if you wanted, if you saw the ads online that are like, I'll be no lawn, and blah, 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 blah. you can raise animals and raise crops and play Farmville. And you can also use the money from the crops to go kill people or ride cool mounts like I'm riding this pig thing, right? From uh, Princess Mononoke, just without the tentacles, you, you know? This is not the game for that. I'm sorry, but uh, it's, this is not the game for that anymore. Look, you could have little cool decorations and stuff. Nah, man, nah. You're, you're paying money to lose money growing crops, right? And if you try to grow crops without premium, you only average like four crops. So you're always losing money. You're not getting your seeds back. You're spending money to grow crops that you will never make back. It is an absolute waste of time, waste of silver. Waste. It's just a waste of time, all right? But new players don't know how to do the math. New players are stupid, and they don't know how to sit down with pen and paper or a spreadsheet or a graph or a calculator and figure this shit out. And so I have to tell them, growing crops is a waste of your time. The only instance where growing crops is not a waste of your time, and remember, this is an example with me as a player with maximum level in crop growing that takes months to do. This is like several months of growing crops at a much higher focus rate. So you're not going to make as much as I listed. That's the best possible outcome for growing crops, and you still lose money on it. The only time that you don't technically lose money doing this is if you do other activities to make up for the cost of premium, which we have to make up $5.5 million for the cost of premium. That means I have to go out and I have to gather and fame farm and do a bunch of other stuff and make $5.5 million silver. Well, even the best players who do zero to hero challenges only like make three to four million in three entire days of like 12 hour streams. That's ridiculous, right? It, with gathering for me, I can make one million per hour. So I have to play five and a half hours just to break even on five and a half hours of my life every single month. How, how much time is that? Like 5.5 times 12. That is 66 hours a year to break even that sucks that's terrible that's awful it's not worth doing it's not worth your time don't don't bother if, if you're one of those new players that can't can't wait to get their first premium and you've been grinding your ass off for a month to afford premium don't okay if you're in a first world country you can yeah you can just go pay for it with real money right but here's the thing if you're gonna pay real money in a video game just play something else that's worth the damn money because this isn't fucking worth it it is absolutely not worth your money uh, and, and here's the thing right this is a this is a unity game unity is a shit engine for like crappy ass games this is a cell phone game and the price of premium with real money look at this Fifteen dollars. You can get a triple A game for that amount of money per month. You can go play Final Fantasy fourteen. You can go play World of Warcraft for that amount of money. Why the f why the hell would anyone pay that amount of money for this game? Look at the, the graphics. Look at them. You can't even. There's like no details. There's like whatever, right? So it's a waste of time. Don't do it. Don't bother. I'm so busy. Thanks for watching. I'm the face of Albion. I am the most famous Albion player. I have the most views, the most subscribers in Albion. You can trust what I have to say. Screw Reddit. Reddit is just a bunch of people working for the company that are being paid by Ilm Turk of job offers. They're not going to tell you the truth. I'm the one here that's telling you the truth. Don't pay shit for this game. Don't try to think that you can you know, game the market with crop growing. And it's the same for all the other stuff too. If you want to raise animals, you know, uh, you know, in a, in a pasture or a kennel, it, the profits are just as bad. Don't, don't even try. They're actually worse. I, I've got videos on my channel about that as well. But with that said, thank you for watching. And let me know in the comments what you think. And again, it's a waste of time. Don't do it. Don't bother. You know, if you're going to play Albion, the only thing that's left to do in this game is to uh, just, like, the real basic stuff. It's gathering and it's fame farming. And that's basically it. Unless you have a harem of friends to go gank with. If you don't have friends in this game, then there's no point in trying to PvP because it's a numbers game. It's completely a numbers game. If you're in Corrupted Dungeons, it's Rock, Paper, Scissors. If you're in the Mists, it's who has better gear. So with that said, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, don't listen to Reddit. They're a bunch of idiots. So I'll see you in the next video. On the right side of your screen is a video that you should absolutely click. If you don't click it, your mouse is going to break the left or right click. One of them will break in the next two weeks. I warned you.